welcome to back to the channel next racing fans i know it's been a while since i posted any type of videos i've just been waiting on parts to come in in one of the previous videos we went out over how to change the balance shaft bearings in the 4g63 and the 7 bolt motor that i have when i removed the bearings unfortunately i damaged one of them so i went ahead and ordered another one it finally came in so we'll go ahead and get this turned around so you guys can see what i ordered and then we'll go over the process of how to install it back into the motor. All right, so let's go ahead and get it turned around. All right, so this is the package that came in the mail. So this is what I'm gonna be using. It came with a little stubby shaft here for the balance shaft delete, which I will not be using because it doesn't have the little indention here that you need um, to make it last a while. This is something that I will not be using. This here, this freeze plug, I'll just keep it on the side for any future uses. And then these are the balance shaft bearings that I have here that I'm gonna be cutting out and using. I will be using, if you watched the previous videos, I will be using this Maddox bearing race and seal driver set to install these um, balance shaft bearings. So let's go ahead and get the camera turned around so we can get this process started and get going. So as you can see here, we got the motor in the background that I'm going to be working on. Go ahead and get this uh, piece here opened up. So you can take out these bearings so we can put them in. Got the bearings out. It should be roughly the same size. All right. And then we'll go ahead and drop it to the side there. Open up this kit here. And if I'm not mistaken, it will be this one here. Yep, perfect. All right, so we're gonna use a 44.5 millimeter, I guess is what you call a driver. Um, we'll go ahead and um, get it attached here to this piece here that needs to get attached to. So, bam. You can see there. As you can see, we've got to put this here. It's in there perfect. So, let me get the motor pulled up a little bit more. To get to the back one, you're going to need to put a cup on the end right here and then an extension so that way you can get it hammered in. So, let me go ahead and get that cup and that extension ready. size I need. Alright, so I went ahead and found the piece that I needed. So if you do get this kit, um, a 15th, 16th cup will fit on the back here. And then you just use, uh, that. they believe this is going to be a half inch extension. Um, the size and then I think it's like uh, six inches long if I'm not mistaken and then so we'll go ahead and move this back Get a good look in there And Go ahead and see if we can Put some gloves on and then go ahead and get it placed back there at least somewhat in there and then we'll go ahead and get it hammered in so Go ahead and get my hammer out Let's 
trusty dusty hammer. Get this other glove on. I don't want to get too dirty today, so put some gloves on. So this is going to be for the back. So it does look like the front is going to be a little bit bigger than the back. So if you put the, the balance staff bearing in the front here, it should stick in there just a little bit like that. And then if you put the other one in, the other one is just going to go straight in right through. So that's how you know which one's from the front, which one is for the back. So this smaller one is going to be for the back. So let's go ahead and get that put back in there. Perfect. All right, so I got it in there just enough. We'll go ahead and get this put in there. Let me go ahead and get this tightened up. That way it doesn't fall off. So I just want to make sure that it's in there correctly, that it's not on an angle. Perfect. And then you're just going to get a couple wax. Let's see how it's going. Perfect. So it's going in there, so I to get a couple more wax. So you want to keep checking on it because you don't want to go too far with it. You just want to make sure it gets in there and it's flush. So it looks like we got about um, an eighth, and an eighth, of an eighth of an inch left to go. So maybe two more hits and be good. Maybe three. All right, so let's go ahead and get this pulled out and have a look. All right, so got that pulled out. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. It's in there perfect lined up front and back so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and take this piece off here don't need that anymore then we'll go ahead these bearings that i bought as you can tell they don't have any holes on them so it doesn't matter the orientation that you put them in because you don't have to worry about the holes matching up with these holes in here for the oil um it's going to block them off block them off either way that's what i like these because you don't have to worry about that if you get ones that have the holes in them then you got to make sure the orientation is to where the holes don't match up if you're doing the balance shaft to leave so we'll go ahead and get this one in here as you can see it just sits in there Look, uh, I believe an eighth of an inch goes in and then it stops same thing for the back one and We'll just do the same thing. We'll go ahead and put this piece here. We'll give it a couple wax until it's completely in 
see if I can give you guys another view. That way you guys can see exactly what's going on. Um, let's go move this forward a little bit. There you go. So as you can see here, I'm just going to put this here. go as well like I said I just want to give you guys another view of this that way <clears throat> you guys aren't seeing from a distance you guys can actually see what's going on let's go ahead and do uh, from the side over here and then uh, we'll go ahead and finish it up and one thing to make sure is that you're always going even if you, if you see that one side's going in a little bit more than the other side, try to correct it. Make sure you go in completely even. So we're completely even, and I like this kit because I haven't had any trouble with it going in any lopsided or anything like that. So. so as you can see, it's probably one hit left. It's got a little bit of an edge there. Go ahead and do one more. Um, let me see here. I'm trying to see. I'd say a little small tap and then we should be it. There we go. I like to make sure that there's like a small, small lip here. So that way the bearing is a little bit pushed in just a little bit so it's not sticking out. I don't like it flush, um, just in fact that I don't want it to mess with the oil pump. So I've got it backed out, just a little lip here, just a small lip. So go ahead and get these gloves taken off now that that's done. And then give you guys a little look at what it looks like. As you can see here, there's a small, small, small lip here. I just pushed the bearing back just a little bit more so it doesn't interfere with the oil pump. It's small. And then it's kind of hard to see the back. Let's see if we can get some uh, light here so you guys can see the back. Let's see if we can do this way. You can see the bearing back there that's put in. Perfect. All right. So again guys, if you're doing a balance shaft elite and you're either rotating the balance shaft bearings or you're just replacing them like I did, I just replaced them. Go ahead and get you this uh, Maddox bearing race and seal driver set from Harbor Freight. I went ahead and used a 20% off coupon on this. If I'm not mistaken, it came out to be like 15 bucks. Um, it's definitely going to save you a lot of time and hassle. I know a lot of guys like to use the... Um, the, the balance shaft that's on the balance shaft to remove it but that's not something I like to do so I just use this you see how quick that was it literally took me less than 10 minutes to do this whole job to reinstall them now to take them out it's gonna be the same process you'll go ahead and take out this first one first take it out and then you'll go ahead and use the same tool put a little bit of an ex the 15 16th extension on it and then just you knock out the back one as well and then the same process goes. Put the back one in first, and then put the front, and then you're all set. As you guys can see too, I did the oil port mod here. If you watched the last video, and it is rust free. If you're gonna do it, um, two, two things I recommend. You put at least um, automatic trans fluid on it to keep it from rusting, or I bought this here, which works wonders. It's called Fluid Film. It's rust and corrosion protection. It's a uh, penetrant and lubricant. Protects all metals and it will not rust up. I had this on my last motor that I sold for about a year and there was no rust anywhere to be found. So if you're gonna get your motor worked on, have it taken to the machine shop and get everything done, 
and you bring it back home and you know you're not going to be building it for a while, go ahead and hit it up with that uh, protection and you'll, you'll be fine. All right. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. Remember, stay tuned. We're next. Next racing.